Okay guys, Rob here with McDojo Life, and the man you just got done watching knock someone out without even touching them goes by the name of Sensei Mark Adlington. Oh, hi Mark. And according to his Facebook page, his resume includes the following, and I quote, Martial arts, yoga, qigong, qigong, kickboxing, feng shui, crystal therapy, meditation, NLP, qigong, Spinal manipulation, dowsing, nutrition, shamanism, sports electro, hypnotherapy, tai chi, meridian psychotherapy, kinesiology, karuna, key master, reiki master, martial arts, grandmaster, sacred geometry, acupressure, creative visualization, and is a grandmaster in qigong martial arts. Whew! That's a padded resume. Sensei Mark teaches Tang Soo Do at a place called Dragon Black Belt Academy in Peterborough in the UK, which is really strange. Because on that monster of a resume, it said nothing about Tang Sudo whatsoever. That long-winded resume isn't the only thing strange about Sensei Mark. He also believes in something called Empty Force. Which, if you've been around this page long enough, you've heard tossed around from time to time. But here's an example from one of the previous videos that we did about a guy named Master Juka Lampia. Oh. I know, crazy, isn't it? And now, here's Sensei Mark using Empty Force. Sensei Mark doesn't only have the ability to pull people with the Empty Force, he also has the ability to channel it through a sword to push people away. And of course, we can't forget Sensei Mark's Empty Force Chi Voodoo powers that we saw at the beginning of the video where he can knock someone out. Oh, his powers don't stop there. Sensei Mark even believes that he has found the cure for the common cold. Lift above the belly, on the arm, and oh, there we go, really clear. Normally that works fine. The same technique. So we go here, scan the three, and then they drop slowly, and you take the weight. One, two, three, and oh, another one, lovely job. So you might feel some clicks in the back, and that'll prove the nerves, get the immune system pumping, get rid of your cold. So let me get this straight. Doctors for ages have been trying to find a cure for the common cold and have failed. But a guy who literally has feng shui on his resume can apparently cure the common cold by just simply cracking your back. Does anybody actually believe that? It's definitely a no for me, dog. Sensei Mark also believes in the power of words, that he can use specific words to affect your nervous system. Basically, we're using a resonant sound to affect the person's nervous system, to relax them, so that we can move them towards us. We don't want to go around chanting like a mad monk, making vibrational sounds and looking at an idiot. Your ego probably won't even let you do that anyway. The resonant sound is me. I'll use a couple that what shouldn't work first. This way. Come here. To me. <laughs> Try it. Try it. Give me some feedback. Let me know what happens. My favorite part about that video is at the end of that video, he asked people to try it out and give back their responses. But if you look at his YouTube comment section, he actually has the comments turned completely off, probably because people tried it and that shit didn't work. Once again, not an original scam. If you've looked around the page, we actually have quite a few people who believe in this nonsense, one of which is a guy by the name of the Human Stun Gun. Take a look. The thing that sets our art apart is the fact that we do use energy projection as well as sound. But the sound to get the energy in the room moving towards me is actually the word me. So if he resists, resist, and I say me, he's not able to resist me any longer. This, the energy actually forces him towards me. I can fight it, she can't get me. But if she uses that word, me. The human stun gun isn't the only person along with Mark who believes this. Also, let's not forget about Evan Pantazzi who preaches about this all the time. If you twist back like a motorcycle on the triple warmer V and you crank in toward the hand, you'll see there's a little bit of a pain factor. 
But if I just hold that there, tap right into here, you'll see that he drops down with a little bit more pain. That was on the spleen six. If I come up underneath the spleen nine with this, it's a better effect as well. That's without the sounds, that's without the chew, that's just run, rushing energy. Now, I don't want to do them to both together to knock them out, but if I do this and just say chew, you can see the person has a problem with that as well. And of course, we gotta mention and give a shout out when it comes to nonsensical words that affect people's nervous systems to the OG, Master George Dillman. Ding! The move, the sound, is on the attack from behind. So anytime you're going, we did the pulling, anytime you would attack anybody from back to front, if you add that sound, you enhance the technique because it pulls the chi back to front through that person. As you can see through the videos that I just showed you, Sensei Mark is not the only person who believes in that nonsense. But even though you see all these fraudulent martial arts instructors teaching the power of these words to affect your nervous system, you're never going to see it in one specific place. Where is the place you're never going to see this at? Where are you never going to see it? Oh yeah, you're never going to see this in a real self-defense altercation where you say words like me and magically throw someone across the room. That's bull. Side note, apparently according to Sensei Mark, we've all been doing jumping jacks the wrong way. If you move in a certain direction, it's going to push energy in a certain direction through the meridians. So if you go the wrong way, it's going to be negative. If you start in this position and you come in out, it starts off the right way. So it pushes and pulls through the meridians in the right way. So you end up getting charged up and not decharged. So this is similar to being on an exercise bike. You get the exercise, but you're also charging up your mobile phone. Science. Well, there's the reason none of us have chi powers right there. We've just been doing jumping jacks the wrong way. I also love in that video how he says it's not rocket science. He's right. It's not rocket science. Because it's not science at all. It's nonsense. Speaking of nonsense, you should see what he has to say about the power of air. Air is like a vacuum, like empty space, takes away energy. So I'm going to blow and visualize air. Now we're going to use fire. Fire melts metal, as we all know. Bank some more fire in there. Bigger bank for the books. I'm going to breathe fire. And that one obviously hurts a lot. Now we're going to use one more. We're going to access. Uh, we're going to reptilian brain. A bit tired. We're going to use the reptilian brain. We're just going to do this. And again, that one hurts. Well. There was a lot of hot air in that video. Man, you corny! I know what you're thinking. Some of you are thinking to yourself, man, Rob, these videos look old as dirt. There's no way this guy still teaches this garbage. And even if he does, there's no way anyone pays him. But you would be wrong. Sensei Mark has hours of nonsensical videos that he has posted, mostly of him doing these energy tests and him just basically laughing at his own jokes. But inside those videos, his most recent one was only a day old. But the fact that he's still consistently posting videos online isn't the scary part. The scariest part of it all is the fact that he has children taking his classes. Impressionable young minds who look up to him as a coach and as a mentor who will believe every piece of nonsensical BS that comes out of his mouth. Those kids look up to him as a mentor. They're going to listen to every word he has to say, and they're going to take it as reality. And they're going to get brainwashed into believing that they have these chi voodoo powers until, of course, the day where reality hits them. It's time to give this guy some Dillmans. I almost feel like Sensei Mark deserves his own emoji just because of how crazy he is. I only scratched the surface in this video of all the nonsensical crap that's available on his YouTube channel. I didn't even get a chance to cover all of the magical trinkets that he tries to sell or all of the weird energy testing that he does, which is almost in every video that he does. As a matter of fact, if you look at his YouTube channel, there's actually not even a lot of self-defense on the channel. 
Just start at the top, work your way down. And it's a lot of him talking about energies and chakras and heart points and all that crap. So, of course, this guy's getting five out of five Dillmans. He believes he can cure the common cold by cracking someone's back. He believes that he can pull and push people and affect their nervous systems with just words. He believes he can knock people out without touching them. He believes that he can push and pull people without touching them. And unfortunately, he's still active and he's still teaching and he's still teaching children. I don't know about you, but I figured by now I'd be out of a job. I figured I would have run out of these wackos a long time ago. But I was wrong. Sensei Mark is just a drop in the bucket of the amount of people who literally believe in made-up chi power nonsense. I have a list, and by list I mean pages, of instructors who all believe that they have magic chi voodoo powers and are still actively teaching today. So that brings me to the question of the day. I get asked all the time, what is it that I look for in a good martial arts school? So, I'm going to toss it back out to you. What do you guys think is something to look for in finding a good martial arts school? Be sure to answer that question in the comment sections before you write anything else so that way I know that you watch the entire video. Quick announcement before we get out of here, I want to say thank you to Ninja Pipeline. Ninja Pipeline is my newest sponsor. They have partnered up with me to provide martial arts school owners with business consulting videos that are behind the paywall. When you sign up as a martial arts school owner member on this page, you get access to all those consulting videos and we post a consulting video once a week. Also, question number two, just for giggles, because I felt like adding a second question to see if you really did watch the full video. Also partnered up with a company called Zen Planner, and we're finalizing that deal right now. So we're about to have a McDojo Life website. So what would you like to see on that website? That's right, two questions today. Let's see who actually watched the full video. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and of course, memberships. Keep the martial arts legit. She can't fall for such lunacy Claiming he can kill dudes and kill lupus with chi And now she sees up for some private instruction Something about learning trigger point seduction Me never thought my baby do dirt or was stray But something tell me that my baby's under her sensei Things just